What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to another 1.4 Stardew Valley video. Today we're going to explore some more 1.4 content, showcase it off, get deep into it and explore this new amazing wonderful content because there's still quite a lot that I have not seen myself yet. This is all new and exciting to me and it's my first time experiencing it and I'm just showing you guys as well so hopefully you enjoy it and you can probably see the title of today's video and we are exploring the new tailoring and clove making in the game. There is now a new fresh clothing design in the game which is part of the customization. Before you could only wear hats, boots and then accessories like rings. Well now we've got t-shirts and trousers as well and these can actually come off. You can take them off and you can make loads of new ones. So many different customized clothing in the game. I think there's hundreds and uh, you can make them yourself and then you can literally wear them and your outfits will all look different and unique and you can just mess around with lots of new designs and go with whatever you want. I think you can buy clothing as well, but yeah, you can now make your own clothes and wear it. In order to do this and use it, you'll need a cutscene from Emily. I'm not sure if you've got to be a certain heart rating with her or something like that, but she'll eventually come to your, your house in the morning and she'll talk to you about clothing and stuff like that. And she will let you use a sewing machine, which is over at her house. So we're gonna go there now. Just got a few things to sell, clear up my inventory. Now you will need a few items in order to make clothing. The main ingredient itself is cloth, which is obviously this. This is made by getting wool from sheep. You can place the wool in a loom and it will give you a cloth eventually. I've got 108 here which I had in the chest. That is the main component or you can actually use old clothing if you want to change the colour of it by using dyes and stuff like that. But if you want to make fresh new ones we're going to need cloth. So let's go over to Emily's now and I'll show you how it works and we'll explore this and see all the new fun designs, see what cool creations we can make because like I said I've not seen any of the new clothing to be honest. Apart from the one we're wearing now which is the dinosaur trousers and the dinosaur hat. I'm not sure if there's a dinosaur t-shirt or not, I'd love to find that. So here we are at Emily's house and when you enter there will be a new room of course which is here and this is the sewing machine. All we need to do I believe is just access this and there we go look at that we've got a new fresh dialogue. Now we've got a few items on us which was left in the video so we'll try and make some clothes out of these I don't know what they're going to make but the main ingredient is of course for the feed is the cloth. Now you place the cloth in this box here you can also use clothing as well it says in the feed if you want to dye it like I said. But then we need the materials for the spool which uh, begins the tailoring and then we can turn it on and power it. So for example we've got some squid ink here, I'm sure this will make something, you put that into the spool, we've now got the cloth, the squid ink and it's not going to tell us what we're making yet because we don't know, it's our first time making it so let's make. And look at that animation. And we have got one high to mirror. I don't know what that is. It is the Midnight Dog Jacket. It is a dyed deep midnight blue from squid ink. Now we can wear this I believe. And look at that, we've now got a new jumper on, a new jacket, that is awesome, we made that ourselves. All we need, like I said, is one cloth and a, a random item, so we've got a bomb, let's try that. Um, I think every item makes something, I believe, I'm sure. So let's see what this one makes. Tailoring, oh, okay, you can't see what it is until, oh no, we can, we can take that out, okay. Look at that, a bomber jacket, a thick sturdy jacket worn by fighter pilots long ago, of course, a bomber jacket made out of bombs, that makes sense, what does that one look like, oh yeah I like that, look at that, that is awesome. So we've got a few more items, let's use one cloth, we've got a battery pack, what's this going to make, a shirt, okay that's just a normal plain blue shirt, we may as well use the items we've got on us, an amethyst, I'm guessing this is just going to be a purple shirt right, yep. The colour of the clothing is dependent on what colour of the item you've used, so beer, what's this going to make? A black leather jacket, hmm, why would Bia do that? Unless it's random, I have no idea, but look at that, that looks awesome. A nice black leather jacket, yes. We've got one more item, the Tom Car soup. <laughs> we can actually use this as well. Probably it's just gonna be a brown colored shirt. Oh no, what is this? An Oasis gown, the jewel of the desert. Oh, interesting. Look at that, it's like a vest. Okay, so now I'm going to get some new items on us and we'll see what we can come up with and make. Okay, so I've got some new items. As you can see, look at all these. These are rare, popular items. I'm hoping we can make some good stuff out of these. So let's try the diamond first. This has got to make something fancy, right? Okay. A pendant shirt. A shirt with a big pendant. Okay, interesting. Now let's do the dinosaur egg. I believe this is going to make something similar to what we've got. Oh, look at that. It's made the dinosaur hat. So that is how you make the dinosaur hat. Awesome. We've already got that though, so that's pretty cool. The fire quartz. Let's try this. What's this going to make? 
Oh, okay, just a red and white shirt. This is literally, this video is just going to be me making loads of new clothing, guys. And obviously, you might be able to see the recipes yourself because I am using all of these items. I had all of these at home anyway, so it's absolutely fine. Let's do another one, the prehistoric skull. I wonder what this has got. This has got to make something good, right? Oh, look at that, the, the school shirt. Of course. Now, I've got the two strange dolls. I'm not sure if this is going to make anything, but these are obviously items you find. Oh! <gasps> Of course, we've got Bobo shirt. I forgot the name of this one. So we've got Bobo and who's this one? Wombus. Oh, that looks like a dang. We could maybe wear that. That looks pretty cool. The Wombus shirt. Oh, look at that. I like that. That goes with my uh, theme quite well. So there's two strange dolls give you some unique designs there. Bobo and the other one that we've got. Okay, I've got a Mega Bomb. Now we've used the normal bomb, which, okay, if you've already made a recipe and you've already made a, t a tailored design, it'll tell you what it's going to make. So the mega, mega bomb and the standard bomb will make the same one. Interesting. Let's do the ancient fruit. This has got to make something good. Maybe an ancient, oh, we've got genie pants. So that's our first set of trousers that we have made. And look at this. We place that down there and they are genie pants. That is awesome. Like a, it almost looks like a diamond color. But obviously it's ancient, so that's pretty awesome. But I do like my dinosaur pants. So that's how you make genie pants. You just use an ancient fruit. Awesome. Okay, so what can we do now? We've got a purple mushroom. I thought, you know, this has got to be something cool. Purple colour maybe, nice design. And look at that, we have got, okay, that shirt, the purple and black vest. Okay. The legendary fish, the legend. Is this going to make anything good? Oh. So you, you can't use this with cloth. It only changes the colour of something, the pendant shirt or the genie pants. Shall we try it? Let's change the colour of it. Oh, okay. So you can only use the legend fish with other shirts, maybe? I have no idea, but you can't use that with some cloth. But we can use all of these. So we've got the void salmon. Let's try this. Oh, look at that. We've made the fishing hat. Yes, that's awesome. I like that. Fishing hat. Just, I'm guessing you use any fish. And we use the void salmon there. And oh, I like the looks of that hat. That is awesome. That is a nice hat. We've got two dinosaur hats. We'll get rid of one. So any fish, I'm guessing, would use uh, make the fish hat. What about slime? We've got to make something here. Yeah, of course, the slime shirt. Well, it looks like a, a shirt just green. But that would look quite nice as well with the dinosaur. Look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. With our dinosaur hat on as well. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's a nice colour. Okay, so we've got the rabbit's foot here. Sorry if this is boring, guys. I'm just enjoying this right now. I'm making my own clothes and I'm wearing them. Oh, it's the shirt with the little eyes on it. Okay, that's the standard one in the game, I believe. That was an already an item there. Let's do the solar essence. Oh, the Yoba shirt. That's a nice design. A shirt featuring a prominent sign of the vessel. Of course, that is in um, Pierre's little Yoba prey corner room. The secrets of Yoba, you can now make the shirt. Let's do the void egg. What's this going to make? Okay. Just a black t-shirt with a red collar. Looks very void. <laughs> Void-like. Same as the void essence, maybe? No, this is going to make something new. The arcane shirt. You feel a certain power from this. Oh, should we wear it? Wow, look at that. That is crazy. We've got the last few items. I won't do any more. Obviously, we don't want to do this too much with every single item. You guys can experiment them yourself, and there's lots of designs. Just all you need is lots of cloth, and then just use a random item. Anything you've got lying around, you'll make a new design. So let's try the duck feather. Oh, I put that in the wrong one. There we go. What's this going to make? Oh, a lime green striped shirt. Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, yeah, I like the looks of that one better. Look at that. Or do I? No, I quite like the standard one. It looks like a dinosaur belly. Ish. Okay. The last few. We've got a bat wing. Of course, it's just going to make a dark shirt. The bug me, I'm guessing it's going to make like a, a pink coloured shirt. Yep. The standard pink striped. We've got a star shard. This looked interesting. I thought this might make something good. Oh, it does. Look at that. The star shirt. I thought that would make something cool. The star fruit as well. What would this, is this going to make anything interesting? Okay, we've made some genie pants, but different colour. Oh, interesting. So these ones have made the like limey green, yellow coloured pants, genie pants. Okay. Now I've got three more items left. Four once we've used the prismatic shard. So let me spawn in a few more items. We'll do the prismatic shard first. Now this is one of the rarest and valuable items in the game. This has got to make something cool. Oh, look at that. The prismatic shirt. 
That looks awesome. Look, he's changing colour in the middle. Do you see the circle? It's actually changing colour. Wow, that's quite a cool shirt. Our belly's changing colour. That is awesome. So we've got three more items that we can do. So let's maybe go ahead and pick three more random items. Okay, so I've got a cooking recipe. I've not tried one of these yet. And I'm interested to see what a cooking uh, recipe would do. I'm guessing some kind of chef. Okay, maybe not. We've got a to oh, toasted shirt. It looks like a toast. Awesome. We've got the ancient sword and the ancient doll as well. I'm interested to see what these make. Okay, we've made the doll shirt. So it's uh, got a doll face on it. And what about the sword? I'm guessing it's going to make a shirt with a sword on it. Oh no, it's made the green tunic. Okay, well there we go, that's many designs that I've made, look at that. Why, we can put a fishing rod in there, what's all that about? Don't know why, but it's actually letting us put the sword and the fishing rod inside the feed there, so maybe you can change the colour of them, I have no idea. But, oh, look at that, there's actually, ah, oh, I didn't realise, you can actually change the, the items right here. It's got like a little inventory slot. Looks like a Zelda t-shirt or something. But there we go, that is some of the designs that I have made. Now what I'm going to do is show you something else as well, part of the clothing and tailoring. Of course there's many, many, many designs, there's hundreds of shirts guys, so experiment yourself, place any item in there and you're going to get a random or a new design. Any forage item, any fish cooking recipe, go ham, explore, let me know what is your favourite in the comments as well. But now I'm going to show you a way on how to store these items and keep everything organised and neat and tidy, which is a, a new, fresh um, thing to do with this update. So if you go into your house, now, I'm not sure if you've got to upgrade your house before you get this, but in your bedroom, you will have a dresser. This wooden thing here, you can buy it from the furniture catalogue as well, I believe, in here. As you can see, it's all changed in here now as well. There is tabs, and these are the dressers. Um, so if you buy one of those, if you've got the furniture catalogue, or if you upgrade your house, I'm not sure if you get one for free or not, but if you go over to it and right-click on it, this is now a place to store things. So for example, we can store hats. So we can now put the fishing hat in there because that's what we've made today and my dinosaur one if I needed to. And all of your hats that you have bought or made, you can now store them and you can wear what you want in your own little dresser. If we go into trousers, I've not got any yet, but we've now got the genie pants that we can place in there, which is awesome. Boots, I've not got any on us right now, but you can store those as well. And also rings, you can store your rings and accessories in there. But we've got lots of shirts, we've got none in the dresser, but all of these we've made, we can now just place in here and if you want to change your design wear something new for the day every morning you wake up you can change a fresh shirt or fresh outfit on just go into uh, your dresser select your item you want put it in your inventory and wear it and uh, that's a new way to store all of your items that you make i mean i have got tons of items lying around in chests we could give you we can use all of these to make shirts there's so many designs that you can probably make it's never ending like i said there is hundreds of new designs so i'm gonna have fun and mess around with that so this is a little bit of a short video of just uh showing you how to make new clothes and wear them i don't know all of the crafting recipes i don't know how you make trousers to be honest we've only made two genie pants and you can also store them in your dresser. Like I said, just uh, I think you might have to get some hearts with Emily in order to get the cutscene. So just keep befriending her, giving her gifts, and you'll eventually be able to use her sewing machine. She'll give you permission to do that. So there we have it. Clothing and tailoring. Customization in Stardew Valley 1.4. You can create your own clothes and wear them. That is fantastic. What an amazing feature to the game. I never expected that, to be honest. That's quite a big and a lot of work that they've done to make that work like that and make it happen. So there we have it, guys. The clothing update. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button. If you didn't, dislike it as well, of course. But make sure to subscribe if you are new around here to see lots of Stardew Valley 1.4 content. We've made quite a few videos. We've showcased some of the new stuff just like this the fish ponds here and uh, I'm having so much fun with it it's incredible there's still a lot more that I want to show you guys and dive into some of the deep stuff some hidden secrets some storyline content so make sure you do hit the notification bell and subscribe to never miss any of this fresh content but until then I will see you on the next one because that's all I've got time for so make sure you all stay safe stay awesome and, and see ya, see ya. See ya.